हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द लैटरल एयर प्रेशर एक्टिंग ऑन अ सॉइल दैट इज एट द रेस्ट कंडीशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड रिवाइज व्हाट इज द अर्थ प्रेशर एट रेस्ट लेट एस टेक अ रिटेनिंग वॉल व्हिच इज सराउंडेड बाय सॉइल ऑन इट्स बोथ साइड्स सॉइल वन एंड सॉइल टू as the density and gamma of both the soil is equal and the height of these backfill is the same on both the sides we can see that the net force on this particular retaining structure will be equals to zero and as the net force is equals to zero we can see that both the soil are exerting an earth pressure at rest that direction will be away from the backfill by both the soils but we are here to determine the value of a coefficient of earth pressure that was defined as k not which is given as ratio of sigma h dash to the sigma v dash as the net force on the retaining structure is zero we can say that wall will not move as the net force is equals to zero wall will not move and net change in volume net change in volume of soil will be equals to zero if we are studying the soil then we can say that let this is an element of the given soil it is exerted by a horizontal stress on the two horizontal planes whereas vertical stress sigma v dash in the vertical phase hence we can see that if the net fo net change in volume is a zero that means volumetric strain for this particular soil will also be zero and if the net but volumetric strain is zero we can directly write down the equation for volumetric strain as we studied in the sum it will be equals to sigma h dash upon e minus mu into sigma h dash upon e minus mu into sigma v dash upon e should be equals to zero we can take the value of e common and it will be cancelled out we can easily say that sigma h dash into 1 minus mu will be equals to mu into sigma v dash hence we can say that sigma h dash upon sigma v dash will be equals to mu upon 1 minus mu and this ratio was nothing but this is the k naught what is mu here mu is nothing but mu is the poison's ratio I hope you understood this particular derivation and this derivation is for the value of coefficient of earth pressure at rest. There are some other formulas also for this particular value of K0 but we are not going to derive each and every formula because in exams active and passive states are more frequently asked. Questions on soil at rest is very rare. So we are just going to write the formulas directly. The second formula for the K0 for sandy soil is given as 1 minus sine phi. Where phi is the angle of internal friction. Whereas similarly there is another formula for the OC soil or OC clay. The K0 for OC clay is given as k naught of nc clay into under root of ocr so these are the different formulas for the value of k naught and k naught is nothing but that is the coefficient of earth pressure at rest i hope you all understood this particular concepts in the next video we are going to start with the the comparison of the active state and the passive state of earth pressure. So, tab tak ke liye lagatar padhte rahi, badhte rahi. Happy engineering.